it's that time of year where I want to rearrange every room in my house. And I've done just that. I've done a lot in here, which is my bedroom slash plant museum. I guess that's the vibe we've got going in here. And it is still a work in progress. So we're gonna work on some of that today. Shelf day. This shelf behind me, I don't actually know the brand of it, but I got it on Facebook Marketplace like two years ago for like 15 or 25 dollars. It's been a great shelf, but it's time for it to go. Downstairs. I'm not getting rid of it, it's just moving. It is an awkward shelf for plants, at least for the plants that I have. I'm going to move it downstairs and use it for a prop in instead. It's just a little bit too tall and just, just a little awkward. It's not my favorite. It's still a great shelf. But I finally managed to get my hands on a Vitsijo, which I'm really excited about. My IKEA doesn't even carry these anymore. And not only did I get one, it's black. I don't know if you notice, but I like the black and green look. I went and drove about an hour to and from and met this wonderful widow on a Facebook marketplace. I think her name was Sherry. A beautiful piano she was trying to sell and she helped me take this thing apart and put it in my car. I don't think that I can get that down there by myself. So I'm just gonna move it out of the way and when my husband gets home from work later, it's already four, so like in a couple hours, he will help me get it downstairs. I have it all spread out on my bed. Got the hardware right here. But the first thing I have to do is remove the plants. There's not very many, but they're there. They are on the way. So here it is currently. It's my laptop with my tablet that I draw with. I will move it somewhere else, but you see how weird it is? Like the lights don't fit it good, especially up there. The plants have to be big, but then they're not getting good light at the bottom. It's 48 degrees outside, it's cold as heck. And these are some of my oldest plants right here. These two, that one, that one. Yeah. They deserve a good home. They deserve a good shelf. Cosmo, let go. Sir. This is Cosmo. This is one of my first plants and I've cut him so much and he's Oh, he's probably like five feet tall. That's so cool. I haven't picked him up in a while. I'm gonna go put him in the bathtub though. Say hi to Cosmo. He is just a regular old Brazil. Such a good plant. It's still in the original pot that I got it and everything. Is there even drainage on this? I never even actually looked. Is this like, I should probably repot this, but I'm gonna go put it in the bathtub. Why y'all gotta do that? Just a regular old heart leaf. So probably we'll always have one of these. They're just so easy and beautiful. I wish I could have it just like hanging on my bed, but it would probably be miserable. Should I try to anyway? Really far, plants really far away from the window do not do well here. And I just don't know that this is close enough to be happy. Oh, how I wish. She needs a repot too. Another one of my first plants, which was a smaller plant than the Brazil. It's one of those like four inch uh, little pots. 
and I just cut it a million times and then someone gave me another one and I combined them both and here we are with this beautiful I'm just it's so pretty the ombre I love you empty pots Piggy bank plant stand. Lazy Susan plant stand. You can hold plant. It's plant stand. This plant. Poor thing. It looks sick. Are you sick? It's actually a really concerning looking leaf. Look at this. That looks special. Spooky. If I didn't know how much trauma this plant had gone through, I would be really concerned, but this is one, another one of my first plants. It's one of those uh, flamingo flowers, in theory, the, the like really common ones at the grocery store, but the, but the variety was called Art and Chew Orange, and it made me think of uh, Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quarter to orange and so I bought it and his name is Pappy and he lived outside all summer and he lived like he's still alive Pappy is still alive but I just brought it back inside like the day before it froze that is a spooky looking leaf this one has rust I find these Rojo Congos and the Birkins get rust really easy Here's a really good rusty leaf. I treated it and the new leaf that just came in is clear, but she had rest. Oh, another one of my oldest plants is a regular old golden pothos. It's, it's tall as I am and I just cut pieces off of it. So it was taller than me before I cut it. She definitely needs a good bath. Very dusty. And just the plant that Pete sent me. Look how beautiful. I pulled off any damaged or yellowed leaves. Just look how dark and pretty. Oh, gorgeous. This one also had rust. Treated it and its new leaf came in good. This plant needs a rebot so bad. This is another one of my first plants. It was really small. It was one of those uh, little four inch guys from Lowe's or Home Depot. And now he's in a six inch pot, but he's yellowing really bad because he needs more light. But it's just a regular old Aglunema of some sort, like a common variety. But I just forget about this plant all the time and she just does not care. It needs a repot. This is my chameleon ZZ and this is what it looks like if you grow them in incredibly low light. Look at this leggy lady. It also doesn't have that really cool look. It just looks like regular green. I think this one looks really cool. Oopsie poopsie, this needs more light. Which is funny to say about a chameleon, or that's funny to say about a ZZ plant. But I don't think it's getting enough light where I have it. Ah, to the tent with you. Okay, shelf is mostly empty. Really dark. Oh. 
look at all the space for activities. Look at all the dirt. So empty. Looks so weird. Don't mind the cable. We don't actually have cable. Don't mind the paint job. Not a professional. I'm not gonna make you watch me put this dumb thing together. Ta da! I haven't put the shelves on it obviously, but she's assembled. I like it so much better already. I'm going to find some lights, I guess. I'm also gonna pull off this yellow wing wing. Yay, it's not so dark in here no more. This is my little light meter. Got an app for it. Somewhere's in here. PPFT. We got one right here in this gloomy, gloomy day. I don't want to put a plant on my bed. I think we need two lights. If your plant's like right here. So now we're at like 70, 85, which I think is closer to what I want. So unfortunately, I think that means I have to do two lights per shelf. I hope I have enough lights. Mama don't got money for more right now. Two lights per shelf. And I think even though I dogged on that adhesive, I'm gonna use it again. Only one of those lights was about to fall off and the rest, oh, I made my arms tired, so this is the junk. I'll start from the bottom and work up. Seems like forever since we've been together. Oh God, I miss you. And I read your letter. your pictures Oh God I miss you so bad It's been so I love it. I look so much better. I love the footprint better. Yay. I'm going to throw the plants in the tub back on this, baby.
piece of artwork for the wall right here. It feels so naked. Also clutter for the top of my cabinet. What can I put up there? Maybe clutter. I accidentally broke this whole vine. <sighs> Two whole vines. <laughs> Three whole vines. One of Cosmo, which is so pink. And then the neon or lemon lime. I broke it. <laughs> so I guess I accidentally propagated some plants today. That's okay. We have room for them now. I am going to be adding more plants and moving plants around, but my chipmunk child is awake. I don't know if you could hear that. And my husband will be home from work soon. So it's a good stopping point for today, I think. He's gonna have to help me take this shelf downstairs. What do you think? Do you like this shelf better or the bigger one? I really like it. I'm a little sad about this, but it's okay. Just a regular old pothos that plant from Pete. I don't even know what that is. Neon Jade Pothos. That was somewhere else that I needed to move, so I just shoved it right there real quick. The regular heart leaf, if you can even see it, like nah, right there. The Cosmo. And then I put the weird sicky thing down there. I have no idea what's gonna go on those shelves. I'm like one of those. A bunch of those. It's dark outside now. I think it was daylight when we started. Oh, winter. Daylight savings. Am I right? He's talking. <laughs> He'll be two next month and only recently just actually started like saying things. His main form of communication has been singing. <laughs> he sings a lot. The next time you see this shelf, it will have more and different plants on it. I'm getting a whole bunch of plants this week. Like, the whole bunch. <laughs> it is time for me to go be a mom. I still have more shelf projects that I need to work on, but I'm waiting for spray paint to dry. So that is where we're going to end this video today. The baby squeaking made me lose my train of thought. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me hopefully you got something done alongside me and if not i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe if you're not and you want to be and i will see you in the next video bye last time i broke a neon piece i stuck it in here and it's grown all the way up there from down there should i put another one in there Plants. I love every kind of plants. I just wanna hug all of them, but I can't get hug every plant.